Hey everyone, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over my June empties with you guys. So my bin is pretty dang full, not as full as usual, but that tends to be the case when I start a new project. So June, I started my summer project. So that's just like a lot of items that I'm working through all at once, instead of like a lot of items that are almost done that I finish like it is later in the project. So it's still pretty full. I've still finished a ton of things. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. So as per usual, I'm gonna start with my project item empties first crank through those pretty quickly since I go over them in detail in my update video, which I'll link down below if you guys are interested. So this first item is the Olay Pineapple and Coconut Water Body Wash. This smells so good, oh my goodness. Definitely a thousand percent would repurchase once I worked through some other body washes, but I really enjoyed this one. I also finished the Soap and Glory Call of Fruity Body Scrub. This one was such an odd texture but ultimately I did end up really enjoying it. The scent's not a thousand percent my favorite, but texture wise, I would repurchase if I could find it at a very good deal. Figure I'll lump these two together since they're the same scent, but I finished this mist in Island Vanilla as well as this perfume in Island Vanilla. Perfume, a thousand percent would repurchase in a heartbeat. The mist, I would repurchase if I could find the old formula, which I have two bottles of, so I think I'm set for now, but the new formula is just like kind of funky in the mist, not perfect, but in the perfume, it's really pretty. So again, would get the perfume again, not the mist. So the last project item I finished up is this underwater oasis. It was really pretty and good for like a really hot summer day, but ultimately I don't think it's the kind of thing I would repurchase if I could find it again. It was nice, but not like amazing. All right, so I can talk a little bit slower now. So up next is Love Spell Candied. This was in, I think, my winter project. I can't really remember now, but it's so pretty, a perfect like peachy marshmallow scent. And I finally, finally finished it up. This is one I was kind of holding on to it because I really love the scent. But ultimately the, um, is it Pe Petal Ephemere? From Le Monde Gourmand. I'll put the name at the bottom of the screen because I probably didn't pronounce it correctly, but that gives me a similar enough vibe to this that I felt okay finally finishing up the mist, but it is super pretty, something I would repurchase in a heartbeat if I could ever find it again. And I finally finished this Johnson's Vanilla and Oat Lotion. This was in my spring project, so you know, heck of a lot of lines, but I just cranked through it to finish it up this month. It wasn't part of any project at this point. Just wanted to get it out of the collection because with less than a third of the bottle left, I'm not keeping that around. So I really enjoyed it. It's a nice summer formula, honestly. I should have just put it in my summer project because it's thin but hydrating so you don't feel like sticky and heavy. So really nice, but I really enjoyed it. I would definitely consider repurchasing at some point. Now I also finished this golden sunflower or I thought I finished it. I guess there's just the tiniest bit left. This was fine, ultimately, like it's not my favorite kind of scent. A little too floral for me, um, so I would not repurchase this. It was nice to use in the shower, but like, I'm all set. Now I finally, finally finished up this Fresh AF Grapefruity Good from Be Fresh. This is a body wash. Um, it was one of the thinnest consistencies I've ever seen. Like it almost looked like water in the bottle. It was so thin but it's a nice grapefruit scent, but I just, I keep forgetting that I'm not the biggest grapefruit person. I used to love it. And then just like my nose switched and now it's just not my favorite citrus. Um, so there's that. This was fine as far as body washes go. Nothing super special, not something I would consider repurchasing. Um, it was just fine, nothing really great. And I also finished this Nivea in shower body lotion. This is the cocoa butter scent. I love this stuff, it's so good. I'm at the point though where I want to pause getting in shower lotions and just use some of my lotions in shower if I want to, um, because I have plenty of lotions as is. So if I'm using them that way, like I don't need this product necessarily, but it is really good. I do highly recommend it if you don't 
want to use lotion post shower or if you don't like to use lotion post shower this is really really good super hydrating and of course i love the scent so then my husband also finished another one of these up and up soothe and soften body washes this is like the target brand version of the saint ives shea butter and oatmeal whatever smells the one that smells like cookies the really good one the one i love um he really likes this that's why we keep getting them he loves them and they're really inexpensive. They're super similar to the St. Ives. I will say, in my opinion, the St. Ives smells a little bit better and the formula's a little more hydrating, but obviously we're gonna keep getting these if he wants to keep getting them. Um, I, I think they're fine. They're nothing super special, but he really likes them. So then I also finished this Sunkissed Lemons Body Ecology Scrub. This one I had no plans to, to work on using at all anytime soon. Like definitely like play with it, but not like crank through and finish. But it was leaking really, really badly. I don't think there was like a hole in the tub. I think it was just like a seal issue with the lid. But it, and of course it's a bright, bright yellow. So that meant there was yellow liquid everywhere so this just went immediately into the shower and i just cranked through it to finish it because it was so messy so i don't know if i would repurchase definitely not this one because i don't want to go through that again but i don't know if any of the others have leaked i think i have the strawberry cheesecake one so i'll let you guys know i'll definitely look into that right now actually see if that's leaking but if that's like a standard problem with these then i'm not going to repurchase because that's not worth the hassle and the mess but I did really enjoy the formula overall. I just, I hated how leaky it was. And I also finished this Wild Sand um, hand sanitizer spray. This was something I never bought. Like this was not a purchase of mine. It was something when I ordered, oh, Fresh Vanilla Blossoms and Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. I ordered like the minis. They replaced one of the Cozy Vanilla Bourbons with this just like in shipping. And then they sent me a, a double of that whole package. So I ended up just kind of ending up with this and it was fine. It's really not my favorite scent. I just used it to, you know, use it up. It's a useful item. So I wasn't gonna get rid of it, but I'm glad it's gone. I don't mind the formula so much. I think I prefer like a pocket back though. I don't know. It was fine. I would not repurchase though. So moving on to hair care. I have a lot of hair care empties this month. So first up is my absolute favorite leave-in conditioner, this Dove Amplified Textures. It's for like wavy curly hair. It just, it makes my hair so soft. It like tames some of the frizziness that I get. Obviously I'm not using it right now because it's gone. I'm using one from not from Pantene, it might be L'Oreal. I don't know, I don't know who it's from, but it's not my favorite. I couldn't find this when I went to repurchase it. So I'm gonna have to keep hunting to try and find it, see if maybe it's at Walmart or Target. It's no longer at my local grocery store, unfortunately. Um, but this is the best. My hair loves this. It just like soaks it right up and it just makes it so hydrated. Um, I will say like half the time the pump doesn't work. So that's like a packaging flaw. Like a ton of the bottles I've had, the pack, the pump has been funny. So there's that, but the formula itself is fantastic. I will be on the hunt for this. So this next item, it's not technically finished, but the bottle is empty. It's this Ava NYC Main Magic. Um, this I poured out into one of those Pacifica, is it Coco Bond, Coco something, the one with the, the sprayer. Um, that is empty, but the nozzle on this was broken. So it's like it would spray out of here, but it would also just like leak down here. And this is one, too good to waste a drop, but also too expensive for me to waste a drop. This is a pricey item in my hair care world. Um, you guys know I am a die hard under $10 kind of person for hair care, but this is so good that I splurge every single time. So I'm currently using this in a different bottle, but this one itself, the packaging was broken, so it is empty, but I love this. It's thousand percent will always repurchase. I also finished this Nexus mousse. This I got for $2 on clearance at my local grocery store. Otherwise, I probably would have never owned anything from Nexus because they're a little outside my price range. But this was so good. This was a really, really good mousse. <clears throat> Sorry. This was a really, really good mousse. I enjoyed it. I feel like it held my waves really nicely and gave me just like a nice 
look to them. That's usually what I use mousse for is like at the end of all of my hair care, I'll like scrunch it throughout and it just kind of holds things together. This was fantastic for this, even though it's a light hold, I feel like it still gave my hair life, but it wasn't like, like crunchy and just like a wig or like a helmet. It gave it, it was fantastic. I really enjoyed this. Um, I'm using a different mousse now. I actually just finished this. So I will be using a different mousse and I'll see how that one goes. But I really liked this. If I could find it on clearance again, I would a thousand percent repurchase. And then my last hair care item is this Pacifica Scalp Love Rosemary Mint Serum. This is the kind of thing like once a week, I'll put it all over my scalp and just let it sit for like 20 minutes. And I feel like it just kind of helps mellow my scalp because it can get a little agitated sometimes. You know, if I do a lot of like ponytails or buns and my hair is just like slick back too much, it can agitate my scalp a bit. So I try to do this up to like once a week anymore and it's just like too much, but I have another bottle of this. So I guess I've already repurchased. I, I really enjoy it. I really like it. So moving on to skincare, I finished, of course, one of my Mario Badescu sprays. This is the rose water scent. Really not my favorite scent. It's just a little too rosy, not rose water enough for me. I'm using the, is it the vitamin C one or the citrus, whatever the orange one is. I'm using that one right now. That's one of my favorites. Um, I think they changed the pump though, because this one, obviously I'm not gonna, oh, just, that was a bad idea, but it would kind of spray a little bit more forcefully. And now the new pump I have is very like, it mists onto my face. So it's a much finer spray, which I like that more, honestly, that was like, thousand percent the best move they could have made but I just I noticed that so there's something but I'm always gonna repurchase these I always get them at TJ Maxx I use it twice a day every day it is like a staple I also finished this Pacifica glow baby lotion this is just like their regular one not their SPF I really enjoy this um I don't necessarily know that it's like making my skin glowy or whatever like anything you see right now is it's this, it's the e.l.f. sunscreen, which I'll talk about in a sec. Um, but I really like it. My skin really likes it. It reacts well to it. It's hydrating without being too heavy. It, I don't know, I just, I really enjoy it. I have repurchased. This is one I'm probably gonna repurchase again for a while until I like feel like trying something new. Now, speaking of the e.l.f. Sun Touchable sunscreen, I finished another tube. You guys know this is my go-to sunscreen, so I'm constantly repurchasing, constantly using, use it every single day. My skin likes it. It's one of the only sunscreens that doesn't burn my eyes. Like if I sweat, you know, sometimes you'll sweat and sunscreen will get in your eyes and it burns. This does not do that. And it doesn't like clog my pores and give me all those little bumps on my skin. It's just, my skin loves it. I've never had a problem with it. And I, I also love the price. It's a really good price for a sunscreen. So I will always be repurchasing this. And the last skincare item, this is a little bittersweet. So it's the Facetory Twilight Velvet. You guys know I love these sleeping masks. I'm constantly repurchasing and I always have at least one in our little medicine cabinet where we keep like skincare. They're my favorite. However, I can't find them on Amazon anymore. At least not like the four pack, they don't sell anymore. The only one they sell is the yellow one, which is like my least favorite. And now it's like $20 for one when I could get them for like six or seven bucks a little while ago. So unfortunately I'm putting a little hold on purchasing them and I'm trying other sleeping masks. Right now I'm using the one from e.l.f. and I'm still in that transition period where like I'm seeing if my skin likes it. I don't know that I'm sold on it yet. I like the texture. It definitely hydrates my skin really nicely, but the first week I used it, it wasn't a fair test because that was like when I was PMSing. So hormonal pimples were what was going on, especially like this area. I don't know if you guys can see anything, but it was bump city and like this guy's still kicking around like it was a bad time to be trying a new product of course i didn't realize so i'm still trying it as i'm pushing through the rest of those you know <laughs> pms and period hormones so still trying it out and i'll let you guys know you know once a full month has gone and my skin has kind of returned to normal to see if 
that's what was causing the bumps or if it was just, you know, being a girl at that time of the month. So we'll see. I don't want to have to spend 20 bucks on these, especially 20 bucks on my least favorite one. So I'm going to keep trying things out. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know down below um, for like a good thick sleeping mask, super hydrating night cream kind of a thing, because my skin needs something super thick and hydrating at night. That's why I always do a sleeping mask. But let me know if you guys have any recommendations down below. I'm getting pretty desperate at this point. So two more items and then we're done. First is this TheraBreath mouthwash in Mild Mint. This is, I think it's the only TheraBreath we've tried. We might have tried one of the others, but I got this because they were two bucks at my local grocery store. So I grabbed four bottles. And so we're gonna be working through these for a little while, which is fine. TheraBreath's expensive. So if I can get it for $2, like, I'm committing. And this one, it's nice. It doesn't burn. It's like cold almost. Like it's the weirdest sensation. I have a little bit of sensitivity over here right now. I'm going to the dentist soon to get that all figured out. So whenever I like am swishing, like I, I feel it there first, and then it mellows out and it's fine. But it's like, it's a cold sensation. It's not like a minty sensation. I don't know. I really enjoy it. I like the fact that it doesn't burn whatsoever. Like that is... A highlight for me thousand percent so obviously i've still got three more bottles to work through so it's kind of already a repurchase but probably once those are gone we'll switch back to something else because this is just too pricey for me to justify always getting it i don't know i'll like you know consult my husband see what he thinks sort of a thing but I really enjoy this. So this last item is the wax melts that we have going on right now. It's Sweet Love Spell from Illumisense. I got this just at Walmart and it smells like Love Spell. It's fantastic to have the apartment smell like Love Spell and not have to spend $20 on the Love Spell candle. You guys know me and Victoria's Secret candles, we don't vibe, we're not friends. So to get something for it's probably two or three bucks at Walmart for six cubes, and it's going, we have a little warmer, I'm, it's right there, you guys can't see it. And then in the living room, we have like a, a full size warmer. So it just makes the whole apartment smell like love spell. It's fantastic. Definitely a thousand percent will repurchase. I think, I think I'm down to my last wax melt brick. So I might need to do a little purchasing here soon just to get like a couple cents to get us through. Cause I like switching it up like once a month. I feel like every month I just need something a little new. The scent starts to get a little sad by the end of the month, but I really love this one. A thousand percent will repurchase. All right, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and a comment below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.